Alrighty scavengers, well just a quick update on these little fire boxes. I was kind of just kind of going through some stuff and uh, uh, I know a lot of people were interested in uh, what the fate of these are or what the status of these are or what's going on with these. It turns out upon further review what it looks like they did here because you can see there's handwriting on here. The back of this says 2007 on this board. And then there's a Q, there's a quality control tag right here from 2020. So it's looking like kind of similar to what had happened with uh, those uh, those electronic boxes we find, where the boxes themselves are brand new and they buy them just for the internals, you know, just like on the, the electrical boxes they buy them for the uh, the breaker boards and all that. This looks like the same situation, which is a total absolute waste. Because why would somebody, I mean, why would they not just offer you to buy, why do you have to buy the whole box? But anyway, so that looks like what we got going on here. The box itself is brand new, brand new transformers, brand new wiring, brand new everything, except for um, the control board here. Uh, this guy right here, I think I even saw, if you look right, right in here, kind of looks like it fried a little bit. So they had to replace this board, but to replace the board, you have to replace the whole box. That's what I'm guessing. So, total bummer here. Everything else is brand new box with the key. What should I do with the boxes though? I mean, I could do something like make a little box, hang screwdrivers in, tools in, something like that, lock them up. Maybe a little gun cabinet or something, I don't know. But I know uh, there was a few people inquire about like, uh, they wanted to know what, what's up with these. And it turns out they are new, but they're not. This is probably what's most expensive on it, and those e boards are it's no bueno, it's no bueno, FA. So, yeah, y'all let me know what to do with that because I don't know what to do with that. They're very heavy, you know, you can definitely scrap them out, but who knows? Maybe, maybe I can sell them 10 20 bucks a piece, something to do with them. Uh, but yeah, that, that, and then uh, over here, I mean, it's been raining for days, absolutely just raining for days. So I've just been kind of working on my, uh, <laughs> my little fitting cord over here. We're getting there. We made a dent in it, uh, uh, about halfway, maybe about halfway, but look at this bucket right here, man. This is full. This is like easily, uh, 45, 50 pounds. Holy cow. Those are all brass. Dirty brass, so we're just chipping away at it. Got the little camera over here. We're making a little time lapse for y'all. So when we get done, we'll do a whole video, see what we finally get on all this stuff. But anyways, just wanted to give y'all a little update on the uh, the fire boxes and such. That's where we're at with those. And uh, yeah, so uh, like I said, just been out here in the garage, tinkering away during the rain. I mean, it has been absolutely just raining so much, so, so much. We may try to get out there tonight. It's been raining though, and raining. And then when the sun comes out, five minutes later, it starts raining again. It's like very tropical here. So we're gonna try to get out, maybe try to get out there tonight. You know, if not, hopefully we can get out there tomorrow. But anyways, alrighty guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Check it out, see what we got with these fire boxes. Y'all take care, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.